Are you on the rob, son? Because that is the question Barry will need to ask these officials today. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And Barry Robson's Aberdeen were robbed tonight. They were screwed tonight. 2 now up against Pack, and they couldn't hold on. The referees wouldn't allow them to hold on as they ended up falling to a 3 2 defeat. A 3 2 defeat. That all but sees them now eliminated from this competition. They need a minimum a draw to stay alive, but realistically, they had to win the night in order to give themselves a real chance of getting through. And they didn't do that, although what I will say is it was through no fault of their own. Aberdeen were really good, especially the second half, the first like 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the second half. Uh, they were phenomenal. Unfortunately, they did sit back a little bit the longer the game went. Some substitutions, I think, changed the game. Pack got into it a little bit more. But even the goals Pack got, they were extremely lucky. All three of them, none of them should have been goals. And uh, we'll talk more about them when we get to it. But first half, nil-nil. Aberdeen done a good job. Now, I, I did miss a bit of the game, but Aberdeen got into half time at Pataudry. Nil-nil, give yourselves a chance. Keep a clean sheet. Try and snatch a goal in the second half. That has to be the mission here in this Europa Conference League game. Get three points against Pack, And all of a sudden, you've got an opportunity to do something in this group. And Aberdeen did take the lead through Miofsky. And it was a... I mean, it was a tap-in, but I thought it was a, a calmly done tap-in. It was a cool finish for Miofsky. Uh, you know, you expect them to score it, but he did make it look easy. Even though it was easy, don't get me wrong... McKenzie, nice left foot at crossing. Um, we had, I think it was, was it Polvara that chased it and he tried to get something on it. He didn't. It ran through. Mioski took one touch and then slotted it past the goalkeeper. So, decent goal. Maybe a little bit fortunate to get through to Mioski, but he was there in the right place, right time. Put it past the goalkeeper. 1 0. Aberdeen. Petodri is absolutely bouncing at this point. Then, Mioski. Running through, they've got the numbers, it's two on two. He slides it into Polfara, Polfara a shitload of space in front of him. Runs onto the ball, dinks over the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper gets a slight touch on it, but can't save it. And Polvara has made it 2-0 Aberdeen. And at this point, you're thinking, well, nothing's going to stop Aberdeen. They're playing great, they're 2-0 up, they've got all the momentum. And if anyone's going to add more goals, it's going to be Aberdeen. It's going to be the red side that get the next goal. But it wasn't the red side, because unfortunately... There was a slip. I think it was... Was it from Gartman? Garterman? I think it was him. He slips. And then he, he couldn't really do anything as Pack were essentially through on goal. A sweaty, you know, passed it for a tap-in. Is what it is. 2-1. You still think, right, as long as momentum doesn't turn too much at this point, Aberdeen can still get a victory tonight. That didn't happen. Because why... Aberdeen should have had a penalty. I believe it was Barron. I think it was Connor Barron. No, it was McKenzie that went down. It was McKenzie that definitely went down. And maybe, right, maybe the saliva from the pack fans who spat on the cameras, dirty... Dirty my, stinking great bastards. Right, maybe that saliva blocked a few of VAR for reviewing this. But how the fuck this wasn't given as a penalty, I don't know. And you know what? I feel sorry for Aberdeen. Now, when I first seen it, in real time, I didn't think much of it. But when you see it on the replay... Every, every angle you've seen, it looked worse and worse and worse. There was no contact with the ball. The pack defender just wipes McKenzie out. McKenzie gets taken out. It's a clear penalty. It is 100% a penalty. And Aberdeen didn't get it. They didn't even do a VAR check. Like, what the fuck is this? Surely, when there's contact in the box like this, and the players are appealing, they, they should be at least checking it. It takes, what, 10, 15 seconds to look at the replay? Yep. I think Aberdeen, yeah. I well, 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 they need to complain here. They need to write to UEFA, write to somebody. Why the fuck did they only check some situations? Like, why did they check... Like, see that penalty that Pat got late on? No one was even claiming for that. No. Yeah, no they decided, oh, we're, no, look, we're three hours looking at it. Yeah, the fucking obvious one, where the Aberdeen player gets taken out, they didn't look at it. it it's as it's, Three AR is a shambles, man. I mean, it's one thing, sometimes they don't even look at it, other times they look at it and then get it wrong. It's like, what are they doing? Even the goal, even the, like, the off-site technology, how many times have we seen that fuck up? I mean, VAR was supposed to get implemented to get decisions right. It's not getting decisions right, it's not even getting used properly. There's so many games, like, they don't even check things with VAR. Yeah. It's absolute madness. It should have been a penalty here. 
Like, this, this let's be real, right? See, without VAR, neither of these penalties would have been given. And that is better than one being given over the other. I think getting both wrong... Because I think both penalties... They're not clear-cut. Oh, no, one is. One is. No, but they're not clear-cut. But if you're, using, if you're using VAR, then one definitely is. And it was the wrong one that was fucking given. If you're using VAR, you need to be getting it right. You can't be getting one wrong and one right. So Aberdeen, if they get that, if they get that penalty, they make it three one. Game's finished. They don't, and then it's a it's a cross here. It's a pretty. It looks there's not much to it. A cross into the box. Johnny Hayes decides. I just don't get this. Instead of like swinging his leg at it and clearing it, punting it away, he decides he's going to get down on all fours and try and header it away. The ball like glances off him. It goes. Towards the back post, a pack player picks it up, controls it, brings it down, takes a shot. It then bounces and deflects off Johnny Hayes and goes in at the near post past Kyla Roos. Not a lot he could do about that. And all of a sudden, Pack have two goals, one out of an Aberdeen slip and one out of a deflection. They're back level. It should be 3-1 Aberdeen, but now it's 2-2 two -two and the two goals have been lucky as fuck. And then, just when we think Aberdeen's going to have to settle for a point, it turns out... No. No, there was a good save for the, the pack goalkeeper. For Jensen. Yeah, so, I mean, off the line clearance, that was a decent save, one leg at save, that was pretty good. But then pack came forward, Aberdeen dealt with it, and we believed that we were going to have to settle for a point. But no, the the officials, for some reason, even though nobody, the cameras didn't pick up, replays didn't pick up, nobody was claiming for it. The referee didn't even fucking see nothing, but uh, VAR decided they were going to have a look at something. We see the replay, I believe it's Rubicic who comes out and, I mean, there's a bit of contact. It's, there's not much in it. He slightly goes over the guy's foot. It's on the edge of the box. I mean, you can certainly make a case this is outside the box. I would say it's more outside than inside. See, for me, I actually think if a foil's on the line of the box, I don't think that should count as inside the box because, you know, if a shot's cleared off the line... It's not given for being on the fucking line. I don't get that. I think it should actually have to be... The majority of it should have to be in the box. And the ball's going away. The guy's not even got the ball anymore. He's already made the pass. Yeah, th this tackle had no effect on what happened next. Yeah. If Rubicic doesn't go in, the, the same pass still happens. Well, for Mackenzie, I mean... He's Mackenzie a, gets wiped out. Yeah, when he's, when he's through on goal, take, going to take a shot. But they decide this is a penalty. I mean... Derek McKinn's thought a penalty was the right call. I, I personally did not. I, I don't think it was a I, I don't even think it was a foul. But they gave it. Pack scored 3 2. And then the pack players, while the game is still in play, run across the pitch and they get involved. They jump into the hands of the shitey Greek, you know, spitting bastards. And it's just it's sick for Aberdeen. Sick for Scotland. Coefficients down the drain. 3 2. Should never have happened. Disaster, absolute disaster. It is a disaster because it should have been a win. 2 0 up, playing great, and at that point you're thinking, well, can they make it 3? Can they make it 4? Uh, I, nah, I just didn't really see a, a pack 3 2 win at that point in the game. I didn't. And you know what? I think there is an argument that you shouldn't throw away a 2 0 lead, but. They were did they throw it away or did they get robbed, though? No, it was definitely more robbed than threw away, and the goals they can see that were unlucky. And if you're going to give the pack penalty, you have to give the Aberdeen penalty, so. They, they, they were shafted and uh, yeah that's the second team this week that's been shafted in our eyes although I'd say this was worse than the Celtic one for me personally would you agree with that? oh 100% that's for the 100% this that's one was worse that's for the review show though uh, but as for this game Aberdeen the, the, their hopes are not it's out, they're, out, they're fucked right? mathematically they can go through but they ain't going through yeah pack of 9 points Aberdeen if they win the last 3 games can get a maximum of 10 I mean that's not going to happen Aberdeen are five behind Frankfurt. They're not going to beat Frankfurt, and they're not going. To Frankfurt ain't going to drop this points. This is what we should be doing. This is see the third place. T this is what they should be doing in Europe. They're competing. Aberdeen have competed in every single game. Not like fucking Hearts where they get. Scud I would. I would say well, Aberdeen's campaign has been very similar to Celtic's. I think they've competed in all the games, and they probably should have more than one point. And I think you can say the same about Celtic's Champions League campaign so far. Compete in all the games and probably should have more than one point. But it, it's a it's a Scottish team thing. Ra Rangers have been abysmal. <laughs> I've got three more points in both of them. So that, that, work out. <laughs> it tends to be a thing for Scottish teams in Europe. Even when they do put in good performances, they just don't really get, tend to get the results that the performances uh, deserve. So 
yeah, we'll, we'll see. But that is Aberdeen. They're, they're done. I don't want to hear it. Mathematically, you can still do this. You can still... Nah, mathematically, you can't do shit. Mathematically, St. Johnson can still win the league, but it's not going to happen. Aberdeen's not going to go through. Celtic are out of Europe. And Rangers are the last team remaining. And this is why I think if Aberdeen got Europa League, you've always the option of third place here. You just it, it, it's second. And Aberdeen really, sh- Aberdeen really should have been in the Europa League. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to finish third in the Europa League than it is to finish second in the Europa Conference League. Well, I agree with that. So yeah, it's just it's sad that that's it's the luck of the draw. And I think this draw was a wee bit favourable. I mean, I think I don't think Pack are world beaters, but here when VARs in your pocket, they are world beaters, aren't they? Aye, I'm just telling you not to say anymore. Barry Robson, though, you know what? They were 2 0 up me in a face that was fucking tripping him. He needs to cheer up. Aye, what's his face going to look like now? <laughs> I don't know what his face maybe is he could, like Maybe he could read the future. And he, and he, he went and shook the fucking guy's hand? Like a fucking dickhead? I just shook his throat. I mean, like, what the fuck? I know what's that about. Anyway, hopefully Aberdeen can. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a Jurgen Klopp and say they should appeal and try and get this match replayed, like, but. It's I, a fucking joke. I'm sick of Scottish teams getting shafted, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just sick of far. I'm just sick of it's far. Get it out. Fucking mince. Get and it the out. Tommy go. Can Spain? What the fuck was that about? It, it's like each week. It's just getting worse. It's a fucking joke. Honestly, it should it is. be getting better. Like, but it's actually not. Anyway, that's it. Fair play to Aberdeen. Played well tonight. Deserved to win, but they ended up losing. Uh, it's just the way Scotland do things in Europe, unfortunately, guys. So, yeah, that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Uh, European review show coming later tonight. I mean, I don't really want to talk much about the results. Ah, it's just shite. Shite, guys. Till next time. Peace.